What's up guys, Matt Co. Michael just pulled up and I know he's got some stuff that I ordered. So today should be a pretty good one. So you guys come on and let's see what he's got today. Wednesday. He didn't know what it was for, and I didn't either. And he had three of them, so he said, Here. That's a big old wrench for a big old nut. Yeah, but it can't be too tight. Feel it. I was made out of aluminum. Yeah. So I looked it up and it said that most common use was in the dairy and food industry. I'm guessing. After Probably those. It said milk rooms and stuff like that. So. Makes sense. It's a big them are the best darn nail brushes ever right there. Yeah, well, they've got every color, or they've got red, green, and orange now. Them things are worth the money. We had one forever, didn't we, Bill? Mm -hmm. It finally, uh, don't want it to lie. finally got old enough to lose its hair. Like Wally. Hey. <laughs> How old was you when you started losing your hair, Wally? Mm, I guess started about 25. Okay. How old are you now? That's, be 32. That's when mine started sliding down my head, going down my back. <laughs> it didn't move in there a while. It just didn't lose up top. <laughs> Did the pink light come in, too? It has not came in yet. Well, let me check on this one. Pop the shirt. Yeah, Wally needs a shirt, too. We got a, got a shelf up here. You want to fill it up? Yeah. That's uh, that's my order shelf. It was special order shelf. Cool yesterday. And that's a good thing. That's right. You got a sack full of hoodies, box full of hoodies. I guess they're right there being kind of in comparison to the icon, but it's longer. Father, what was it you were saying yesterday about that ratchet? Yeah. Michael, have you ever heard of anybody being so picky about a ratchet? Mine's been locking up on me. He wasn't happy with the lock, <laughs> being locking. So you fix that, now he's not happy because he says it's locked up on him. When he gets back out here, y'all to tell him it's non-refundable since you pulled the guts out of the- That's right, since you de-locked it. Since, no, <laughs> tell him since you jailbroke it, you don't have a warranty anymore. <laughs> I love that ratchet right there. You know, we talked about last week somebody that can break anything. Yep, that's him too. He could tear up a crowbar with a rubber mallet. All right. So it's locking up. Yeah, whenever you put any kind of real pressure on it, it won't go back. I did it three or four times in one job. But, oh man. Modified it. The warranty's done. Oh, you jailbroke it. You jailbroke, jailbroke it. You jailbroke it. No warranty. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Jailbroke. It's Wally's custom ratchet. <laughs> He's picky on them ratchets, ain't he, Bill? It doesn't have an on and off switch. You gotta have power, don't you? We don't have an on and off. You took it off. No, it's still got on and off. Oh, the forward and backwards? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, gotta be technical. Probably been leaving it on under a truck all night and run the batteries down in it. <laughs> well, I need to figure out how to charge them up. <laughs> he said it ain't got a power port on it. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. He broke it. Somehow or another. He rough on stuff. Wally, you remember the conversation the other day we had about breaking stuff? <laughs> I know you got to throw me on a refresher course. <laughs> Rough on it, Wally. Well, that explains a lot. 
terrible, Wally. Don't you feel guilty tearing up your brand new ratchet? No, not really. <laughs> it happens. It's a rig right there. Right angle funnel. It is nice. Yeah. Time for me to use something like that out here. Absolutely. Those are nice too. Look right here, Bill. See what that is? That jiffy type dish in it. That's like low profile. Oh, that's the one like we did on that Jeep the other day, remember? Yep. We made it without it, but that would have made it a lot easier. That just looks like that leak right there. That was sort of like that one I got the other day in it. Mm -hmm. Except it's fancier. Got like a flexible. Oh, I'm not fixing to break it. It's bill proof. That'll be good yeah, for yeah. another two weeks now. Yeah, it was now. actually worse than what it was before. It only worked in one direction after it got done with it. The Hamilton hooked it up the uh, next week and it worked just fine. Still weren't using it. You got a brand new unlocking, locking yes. flex head ratchet. Are well, we talking about him behind his back? <laughs> we ain't saying nothing. We wouldn't say it to his face. <laughs> Sweet. We figured out what was wrong with Wally. I, got I didn't have the eye. I didn't have the camera on a while ago, but he was slinging his ratchet back and forth. Everybody was looking at him like he was crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he drank coolant as a kid. <laughs> Lime Kool Aid. Ooh. <laughs> Cherry Kool Aid. <laughs> that was uh, transmission fluid. <laughs> Stubby metric hex grip rent set. Have I talked about those yet? Mm, I think you talked about the long ones. You didn't talk about the stubby ones. So these ones. come out, uh, I think, a couple weeks ago. Uh, they were new. So everybody really liked the long ones. Mm -hmm. Their only complaint was some of the bolts were in a tight spot. So instead of being able to use the long wrench, they were going to go back to the old extractor style. So now they've come out with these to where you can get in a tight spot. Still gets to 90% rounded. How small that thing is. So you get it in a real good tight spot. I think the only drawback to that's going to be is how tight is the ball. Yep. Yep. Like, that's right. What's the damage on one of them? It looks like they sell for one ninety nine for the set. So it's a good set. I mean, I don't know how many times you're going to have a nineteen in that tight of a spot that you can use the right. the ranch with. Boy, that'd be rough. <laughs> <laughs> as short as that is. But, I mean, it's nice to have, right? On well, my stubbies, the main time I used my 19 was like on a BGT on a ISX. There's a bolt for the coolant on the very, very back. Normally, it's just easier to get it with a yeah. stubby. stubby. Not too tight. So, I guess if you rounded that bolt off, I, I'd have something for you to get. <laughs> I really wasn't sure about the 19. And, you know, well, really, probably 14 up. I don't know. How much you would use the other ones, but I can see I can see the eight through fourteen. I can yeah. see why they put the wrench extender on those. If the fits the purpose, you can't get to. It. I would try, but <laughs> he would try. Oh, he, he would be the one to try. And stick a pry bar on something and bow on it. Why would you do that? The wrench extender's got a uh, slot for a half inch ratchet. Why would you put a pry bar on it? Well, what if it's a clearance issue? You have to go in from the side. Then I just have to show you. I, 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 Just that coolant leaching out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was talking about your knuckles last week. So, yeah, I saw that. I was reading the comments. And, and I, I said, look, man, you got to pay your payments. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to make your macro payments, you know. Yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing like that. Uh, I, I had to work on a Buick Enclave. I had a, uh, yeah, it had a condenser leaking. And it, Everybody I talked to and even some of the instruction said pull the bumper and I didn't have time for that. So I just reached behind the radiator through the support. And you know, it's only got that one bolt that holds the AC line on. So if you get it, you're good. So needless to say, selling tools with your hands don't get near as rough. So my hands got a little soft, I guess. That's all right. I, would, I wouldn't admit that I had to uh, 
make somebody pay. <laughs> You're going to pay me today, buddy. <laughs> hey, we pay. Can't admit it on camera, right? Just do like Wally and go and get a, go and get a manicure every week. Yeah. yeah. Wally gets a mani and pity every first of the month. Every first of the month. Yep. All right, guys. So here is the cool creeper that we was waiting for it to come in. And I'm glad that's in. So I'm going to pick up one of these. And I'm gonna get another one of these. Where is this one from? Oh, no. Wally had that. Oh. He can't tell you what he's gonna use that for. Because it's probably X-rated. It's going home with me. It's probably X-rated. But what are you getting there? Another flashlight. Yeah. You get me an orange one this time. Three. Three flashlights in two months. Look at that awesome. After we warranted <laughs> the one out, we got him a brand new one. So actually, that's four <laughs> flashlights. <laughs> And two months. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I did forget about the warranty. Like I said, it's at the house somewhere. I ain't got a clue where it's at. Mm -hmm. I'll find it eventually. All right, guys. <laughs> like always, thanks for watching this video. Check down in the description. We got some cool tools and discount codes and some t shirt links if you want a diesel medic t shirt. Like always, hit that thumbs up and Click that subscribe button right down here because it's totally free. It don't cost you a dime. What we got to do now, Wally? <laughs> Pay this man to get back to work. Let me hurry up and pay you. I'm too pretty for your knuckles. <laughs>